Hi and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. Today I'm joining in on a thrifted Christmas collab where I decided to pick up some thrifted items that you would be excited and proud to give as gifts. Now I couldn't fit all my ideas in this video so look for a part two. So this will be the first little thing we start with today. Um, I got this at Goodwill. I just thought it was really pretty and kind of unique. I don't know if it was handmade or from a store. I don't know but it was 99 cents and I thought this would be um, perfect as a little gift you could you could do anything you could add potpourri to it you could add flowers to it but I'm going to turn it into a candle because I think that would be really cute to give to somebody and my idea was is you could just take a candle that you already have and melt it down this is just an example you could get um, your maybe your favorite candle from a store that you love the scent and melt it down to add to it. You could get a Dollar Tree candle, whatever you want. And I already have one started. It's melting down. It's very hot, so be careful. Um, it's not boiling yet, but as you can see, it's starting to melt already. And then you can just go ahead and use the wick that's already in there, or um, I know you can get um, candle kits or whatever with the wick and stuff already in there and those are super simple you just um, glue the little metal piece that comes with the wick down in your jar or you can use wax and then you just pour your wax in over that but I'll show you after this one's melted how we're gonna do the other one okay so it looks like it's all melted I'm going to go ahead and take it out and then we're going to just pour it into our little container So I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm sure most of you know it has a little metal thing at the bottom. It um, attaches the wick to the container, but that's why I didn't want to put it in the microwave because you know you don't want to met, um, microwave metal. So that's why I was boiling it. And you want to make sure the wax is still hot, and you probably want to make sure that <laughs> all your wax is melted, <laughs> but mine is not. So. And obviously, if you're giving this as a gift, you probably want to get the wax or the, um, you probably want to get the candle kit so that you have a new wick. Um, but I'm just using what I have right now. And I just like this idea because sometimes, you know, you get really good smelling candles, but the little container isn't that cute. So I thought this one was adorable and I don't know they could use this for something else when the candles done um, but we'll just let that cool and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished All right, and this is our next one. I got this at Goodwill for $3.99. I thought it was a cute, maybe bread box. And I just had an idea that I could refinish it and it would be a really cute addition to a gift. Maybe like filling it with like your favorite Christmas stuff, like breads and stuff like that. But you'll see that after I'm done fixing it up. I'm just going to start by sanding it off and um, work, I'm going to try and make this um, just a natural wood top and then I'll probably paint this probably white or something. We'll see what it looks like after I get it sanded. So I did end up having to take the hand sander to some of it because, you know, it was really in there. I'm going to try and do a little bit more. I'm not too worried about it because I do want it to have a rustic look anyway um, and I do kind of like the black or the blue whatever color that is around it but I still think I'm gonna go with the white so I think I'm gonna paint the outside white first 
and then um, do the wood how I want, just in case I have to sand any overspray off. So I'm just gonna take some aluminum foil and wrap it around this to um, protect it from the spray paint, because I'm gonna use spray paint because it has the primer in it. And I wanted to let you know this video is part of a collab called the Thrifted Christmas Collab. And this is hosted by Yami from the Latina Next Door. She invited me and Sherry from the channel Simply Home with Sherry to join in with her on just finding some thrifted items that you can um, redo, remake, you know, restore into something beautiful for your home and for the holidays or for gifts. And I thought it was a brilliant idea because I love all of those things. So <laughs> definitely check them out. I will have their channels listed in my description box. I am taking this Restore Finish um, to the top and it's supposed to like enhance the wood and, you know, fill in any like um, small scratches or just kind of even out the wood color. I actually have a bigger project coming up. I can't say when, cause I'm not really sure, but I am working on it. So look for that coming up and I'm going to be using this Restora finish. And you can also use this when you're done. So for this bread box, I thought it would be super cute to add some um, homemade bread. I didn't have time to make it homemade. So I just picked some up from the store and um, I like the idea of putting the bread in a stocking or you can put it in a cute little gift bag and then just display it really cute in the bread box. And of course you need some sort of cutting board. You don't have to use a thrifted one. Um, you can always get a brand new one, but you know, whatever the person you're giving the gift to would like. You can also add some wine or some sparkling juice or like champagne or anything and then a cute little hand towel I thought would be really nice and then it looked kind of bare so I did end up putting a little Christmas tree in here in just a second and then I wanted to show you that you can just put everything into the box and then give it as like a gift all like closed up so the person doesn't see what it is right away and you could also put some like tissue paper in there or whatever I just love these kinds of gifts because they're so special and they're just like little surprises because obviously the person giving it to you knows you so well to put in all the little goodies and fun surprises. So let me know, do you guys like getting gifts like this or giving gifts like this? I know I like getting them. I think they're really fun. And then if you don't have a bread box that you found at the thrift store, I don't know if you saw my video last week made, making this, um, this cutting board or charcuterie board. I think I said it right. <laughs> um, but you can use this in the same way as we did the bread box and just kind of lay out the stuff um, over the cutting board. Now I just did this... Um, really loosely, but if you were actually giving this as a gift, you would want to um, really make sure your items were secure on there with um, maybe some tight ribbon, but I just did mine loosely so you could kind of get the idea and it would still be super cute. I know I say super cute way too much. <laughs> and then add a little bow. I showed you both ways with the bow and without the bow because I thought both were really pretty. I will link this video um, in my description box if you want to check out how to make this board. All right, so our next thrifted purchase was this basket. It was $2.99 from Goodwill and I think you can get the best baskets at thrift stores and they're super cheap because baskets are usually pretty expensive and to me baskets make adorable um, 
like gift holders and then you're not wasting money on like wrapping and stuff like that um so i'll show you maybe how you could give this as a gift so you could start by putting in a cute little um, blanket now that's something that my family does for me every year because i love snuggy blankets they actually wrap my christmas presents in a new blanket each year like a new throw and then you know they're not using wrapping paper and stuff so i just i love that idea so we're going to kind of play off that right now <laughs> so you can throw in your blanket obviously you know you can fix it once you fill it with all the stuff you want to fill it with but i was thinking maybe like um since it's a snuggy christmas time or a winter gift or whatever birthday doesn't matter um we could fill it with maybe some like coffee stuff um, baking stuff maybe but yeah we'll see you could find these cute little jars i think this one was from the dollar tree i think and then just fill it with like coffee beans if you're your person likes coffee And then they can use this when it's done. They can use the coffee. You can put a little jar in there of cinnamon sticks if they liked flavored coffees. Something like this. Maybe even cute little jars that you find at the thrift store. You can fill with their favorite candies like these. These are my favorite, by the way. I'm allergic to chocolate, so those are super good because they're not chocolate. And then you just fill that up. That would be a cute little surprise in the basket. And I found these at the thrift store, but again, you could get some from the Dollar Tree. They usually have really cute ones, or Walmart has cups. I think, I think these were from Walmart, and they were a dollar. And I think that would be really nice to fill maybe with some hot chocolate if your person likes hot chocolate. Now I don't have any cute um, like Christmas cellophane bags so Ziploc will work and it'll probably keep it fresher anyway. And you can stick your hot chocolate in there. Maybe some candy canes. Maybe marshmallows. I really like the idea of giving like these baskets and stuff. I think they're great for hosts gifts or housewarming, Christmas, anything like that. I think they're really cozy. And if you have any cute little containers like this, you could um, wrap them in cute um, like hand towels or um, like little placemats like this one, um, just to keep them safe. You could wrap them you could wrap them in anything, just anything cute and anything that's usable. Stick that in there. And again, you could wrap these. And then when you're done filling it, just take your cute little blanket. And then if you wanted, you could top it with a little cute little Christmas tree. So this one is for two things that you might find at a thrift store are cute little decorative keys and they always sell like Dollar Tree stuff or stuff from Target um, you know like half off what you would get at the store 
or you could get these at the Dollar Tree. You could make your own tag. I'll um, put a picture up above of like tags I've made in the past. But we're going to make a little um, Santa's key um, little sign. All right, now that most of it's off, I'm <laughs> going to give it a coat of paint. And I'm going to leave the house because I think that's super cute. Um, you could... If you don't have that, you could find a picture online, like on clip art or whatever, and then just print it out and Mod Podge it to your little um, tag or sign or whatever you're using. And then here, if you have like a um, Cricut, then you can go ahead and use that. But I, I don't use one, so I just, um, you know, did it freehand and wrote out Santa's magic key for our home without a chimney. And I just think that is so cute because there's so many homes and apartments and stuff that don't have chimneys. And I think this is just a really cute gift idea for kids. And then you just attach your key and I didn't have I know I have Christmas ribbon, but I couldn't find any, so I just used some twine, but I think some um, really bright Christmas ribbon would be super sweet for this. So let me know what you guys think of these DIYs and these gift ideas. And if you would like to see a part two, let me know that as well. And don't forget to head on over to Sherry's channel and Yami's channel. Um, I will have the playlist listed in my description box. Thanks so much. And if you're new here, I really appreciate you stopping by. If you're returning, you know I always love you. And don't forget to stop into the comments and say hi. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.